Hey there, it's Fabienne dropping in to talk about the law of association today. The law of association is basically, it's about the people that you spend the most time with. You might have heard the Jim Rohn quote uh, that, you know, is used a lot in business circles that talks about the fact that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Uh, the people that you spend the most time with dominate the conversations you have. And the reason I bring this up today is when we're talking about your business and we're talking about how much income you make, it's really important to spend time with people who are advancing in their business, who are growing, not people who are perfectly happy with the status quo. The people that you spend time with and the people that you listen to are the people who will dictate how much money you make. Now, I'm fond of saying something that sounds a little bit arrogant, and I don't mean it that way, but there are plenty of people who will give you advice uh, about your business who aren't where you want to be. They're not even successful, but they're pl they have plenty of advice to give you. And the quote, um, the thing that I say a lot is, I, I actually don't take advice from people who don't make a lot more money than me. Now, I know that that could sound terrible, but I want you to start thinking about who you listen to. Who do you get business advice from? The people who are to the side of you? The people who are below you income-wise? Or are you listening to people who are 10 times ahead of you, who have walked through the, the fire that you're about to walk through, who can tell you about something that's lurking around the corner that you don't know that you don't know is there once you try to play a bigger game? You need to listen to people who have already done what you're doing people who have already achieved it. Everyone that's surrounding you should be what I call an advancing entrepreneur, somebody who is unhappy, unwilling to stay at the status quo, who is looking to move further and further in their impact, in their uh, service to clients, in their, you know, some people who want to change their industries, not people who will be threatened by you if you make it bigger because here's the deal when you listen to people who will be threatened by you if you get more clients if you grow your income uh, there if you talk to them they're gonna try to keep you at their level because they don't want to abandon you to abandon them or they don't want to be outshined outshone outshined by you and so the whole point of this is you have to look around and look at who is part of your immediate inner circle. If you don't have people that you're masterminding with who are also on the journey to, let's say, 10K a month or 50K a month or 100K a month, it, it, you need to get those people. I used to think this was not important. I used to look for a mentor who could just teach me, right? Uh, just teach me the tactics if you know what they are. But now I realize that I need to be surrounded by other people who are also playing the game with me. I used to think as a budding new business coach that, you know, I had all the answers for my, for my clients, but it's not the case. Uh, what I've witnessed at Bold Heart and the Bold Heart Business Program, for example, but also in my own life, is that it's the community that makes all the difference. Because when we're doing it with other people, we stay in the game. We don't talk ourselves out of the things that feel uncomfortable about moving to the next level. So community is the law of association. You must have a fertile community if you want to play a bigger game in your business, in your impact, and in your income. Think about that community, okay? Sending you lots of love. See you next time.